Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Aaron and in this video today, I'm gonna to be going over how to set up the Reminders app as your getting things done system. So when I started getting things done, the application that I used to track everything was the Reminders app. And the reason why I chose the Reminders app was one, my coach was getting things done, official coach recommended Reminders as I wasn't really sure what kind of system I wanted to use or what application. And so he recommended Reminders because I work on a Mac, I have an iPhone, and I've come to really, really enjoy it. A lot of the features there are really awesome. There's a lot more to it than just making, you know, a kind of to-do list. The first list you're gonna wanna make is always going to be the inbox. Inbox is going to be where you dump all the kind of things that come to your mind. It's kind of your capture tool, kind of like your email inbox. What's cool about the reminders apps too is you can actually kind of change the icons, change the colors. So I like to kind of make it color coordinated, which is really nice. Now the next list you're going to want to make is going to be the next actions list. And so these are usually process things from the inbox, actions you need to complete. The next list after that is going to be the projects list. Every good GTD system has a list for projects. Projects as the GTD system defines it is anything that has multiple action steps to complete. What's really great about the reminders app is you can actually put a lot of different things in here. So let's say you have a project, maybe the project is get a new roof. But of course that has multiple next steps. So every project has next action. So maybe the next action is research roofing companies in my area, right? So now it's on the next actions list. So here you have a project, what it looks like to be completed. Next action is the next possible action you can take. So for each project, you can also make some notes here. So if you have certain things, you can jot things down right here. There's also a place you can put a URL, a priority if you want to as well. Let's say maybe you have another next action that's something like pick up two by four, from Home Depot. Maybe that's one of your next actions. What's really cool about this is not only can you put notes in here, you can add a date for when you need to be reminded. So maybe you got to remind yourself this Sunday. So you can put that in here today, tomorrow, next weekend, or pick a custom date and time, which is really great too. But the really fun one is actually the location. So location, you can, you can put it in as getting as a car, getting out of your car. The best is just typing in an address. So you can just type in Home Depot and it can give you a couple options. So let's say this is the one that's near me. So I'll pick that. So never next time I'm driving by or arriving at Home Depot, it will remind me. Now the next list that you're gonna to wanna to make is gonna be waiting for. This waiting for is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Let's say as, as an example, John was borrowing my book. I wrote down the date that he borrowed it, so I know, you know, when I when I loaned it out. And now it's in my waiting form, waiting for it to be returned. So let's say six months go by and I completely forgot. When I look over the waiting for, I can see, oh yeah, John has my book. That's where my Harry Potter book is. Just a really good way to track what, you know, many people owe you money, maybe they, maybe they borrowed some stuff for you, or you're waiting for someone to get back to you on something like that. This is a, a good list to have. After all these, after waiting for, the next list you're gonna wanna make, someday maybe list, will be all the projects or ideas that you wanna do in the future, but they're not really in the get done immediately or the next, as soon as possible type of thing. These could be future ideas that you have, but nothing that's really pressing that you wanna have. You just wanna, you wanna reference it, but you don't really care to move on it just yet. And that's it, that's basically, the most basic reminders app, how to use it for getting things done. This will start to pile up and you might actually add some different lists. This is how it can look like after a few years of actually implementing and using it. So you can actually start making folders here. I have a folder here for next actions. So these are all my next actions lists. And then I have project folder for all the projects waiting for. I have someday maybe, which is really cool too. I have relevant checklists as well too now. So this is a folder here, which is all the inboxes I need to clear. I have offline reviews. So whenever I'm in the plane and I want to complete a getting things done review. I have a checklist of like what I need to have open. I also have a weekly checklist for other things I need to do. And then we've got a reference folder here. This is what the system can look like after a lot of careful using, planning. You can see here, I've got things that are scheduled. I have something today, something is super important, but these are everything all together. And so this really, is a fun system and so this is what it can look like after a long long time of use let's start with what i showed you first when you're first setting up reminders app it's going to be a lot more simple and it can expand and contract based on whatever stuff you got going on i hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful hopefully this was valuable uh, if you have any questions at all please let me know in the comments i'd be happy to help you with building the system for yourself thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great time using the getting things done gtd system with reminders